Hi everyone. So today I'll be working on the outside again. My favorite place to be these days. I am enjoying the weather we're having here in Ohio. And in this video, I'll be doing a few different things. First of all, this video is sponsored by Sunday. They are a company that specializes in lawn care. And a few months ago, I had done the first treatment using Sunday products. I had showed you guys the process. And am I ever impressed with our lawn, guys? I'll let you have a look. I'll get some close-ups of how the lawn looks. I look forward to applying the second Sunday treatment today. And in case you've never heard of them, they are a program where you sign up for a subscription for a year's worth of products to treat your lawn with. And it's really nice because the first products you get, you know, you apply them on your lawn and then you also take a soil sample and you send that in and they test it for you. And then the second treatment you get, you actually get products that are customized for your lawn. How great is that? And depending where you live, of course, your soil is gonna be different from maybe what we have here. And it's just really a good feeling to know that you're treating your soil for what it needs. And I also like the fact that you can actually pronounce the names that are in these products, like the names of the ingredients. And the other thing I'll be doing in this video is making an arbor using twigs out of the woods. And the best thing about that, of course, is not spending a penny doing it. And in the past, I made a lot of twig crafts, I guess you could call it, and I haven't recently, but I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll take you guys with me as I work on these things, and I'll talk more about Sunday later, but for now, let's get started on that arbor. Probably about the most important thing when building an arbor is making sure your first four posts, like the posts that are supporting the structure, are nice and straight and strong. And in this case, I'm looking for some that are around 92 inches long and maybe three to four inches in diameter. And this is always the hardest part for me, guys. I hate to cut down living trees, but I almost need that in order for my arbor to be sturdy enough. So here I found some trees that are really close to each other. Like they're probably not gonna get very big anyway because they're overcrowded. So I always look for areas like that. Um, I guess that way I don't feel so bad to you know, cut down live trees. I'm using my trusty hacksaw to do this. Uh, this is my go-to saw if I want to cut through about anything. I know guys, flip-flops, probably not the best thing to wear in the woods like this. I'll probably pay for it because there's lots of poison ivy around here too. And today, for some reason, I could not find a big tape measure. I think they're probably all over at the cottages, so I have to make do with this little six-foot tape measure that I have. I think this little tree would like to retire as an arbor. I feel like his root structure isn't the best anyway. So now that I have my four posts, I'll just look around maybe some of the tops that I from the trees I cut down I'll cut some sections of those off because I know I can use those to build my arbor So before building the arbor I'm going to show you guys the space where I plan to put it so let's get our bearings here this is the Etsy shop coming in through this walkway here and then up on this bank. I plan to have my new herb garden. I'm really excited about it. And I thought it would be really neat to have an arbor here kind of as an entryway you know, into my herb garden, which that will probably be a whole separate project then, a separate video once I actually you know, do that. But for now, just gonna make the arbor and eventually I probably wanna you know, paint the blocks and then get rid of this pipe here. I'll just pretty things up a bit in there. So let's take a look at these trees that I cut down. Already I can see I'm gonna replace that dead one with one that matches these three here. Um, I'm not sure can you tell in the video or not, but this one does look different, like the bark is even a bit different than the others, probably just because um, it's not you know living anymore. So I think I'll go down and see if I can just find one more, kind of like this. And I like the idea of using green posts, or green trees here for my you know, to make the arbor sturdy and last longer too. I can always use this piece for, you know, bracing or something else because it is a nice straight piece. Mm -hmm. 
usually when I make things out of twigs, I don't bother with just precise measurements. I mean, I try to generally measure, but of course, you know, every twig is different, so it's hard to get everything just perfectly even. It doesn't have to be. That's not the look that we want to achieve here. In this case here, I'm starting out with making the two sides of the arbor, and it's just easier for me to kind of lay everything on the ground and kind of eyeball it as I go. At this point, I'm thinking of having, you know, the bottom part of the sides, maybe running some twigs vertically, kind of like a gate or a fence look. And then on the top part of the sides, I may just leave a blank. I could always, you know, hang something in there, or maybe I'll decide to add some twigs. I'm not quite sure at this point. So here's what it looks like so far. Of course, this is the bottom part of the arbor here. And in this section, I plan to have my twigs in here, you know, running vertically. And up here, again, at this point, may just leave it blank. I'll probably put a few braces in here. And I have one twig here that I like the diameter of, or I think this looks about right to go with this size. So what I want to do is just find a whole bunch of twigs like this. Probably need at least maybe 12 or so per side here. So before proceeding with the arbor, let's talk about Sunday. I received my second treatment as mentioned before and I want to apply that today. And I wanted to mention when I first placed my order with Sunday, I was really impressed with how easy their website is to navigate. It's basically just typing in your address to get started and then you select your customized lawn care plan. Everything gets shipped directly to your door and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to spray the nutrients on your lawn. Of course, that kind of depends on the size of your lawn. It's really neat how they use Google Maps. You know, by using your address, they can actually tell how big your lawn is. You don't even have to come up with measurements. I'm really not good with that, so that was really nice for me. What I'm applying today is Super S and Lawn Strong, and the Super S has sulfur, iron, and sugar beet, and the Lawn Strong has nitrogen, soy protein, and molasses in it. Again, really easy. You just attach the sprayer to your hose, and you're good to go. To check out these products, head on over to GetSunday.com slash WhiteCottageCO. Again, that's GetSunday.com slash White Cottage Company, just using CO. And from there, you can place your order and make sure to put in promo code COTTAGE20 to get 20% off. I would encourage you guys to give this product a try. I really like how our lawn is looking so far. I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know, can you guys hear the thunder, but I'm kind of on a race against the rain that's coming. I really want to finish putting these braces in at least. As you can see, I did get my braces on here, and the next step is putting it together, adding the top, and uh, I have to figure out how wide I want the arbor to be, and then I want to cut some good-sized pieces for the top to like hold it together. It did stop raining, still some thunder going on, as you can hear.
It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to use sacrete to cement these posts into the ground, but I think I'm gonna skip on it and instead maybe drive a stake uh, towards you know the front part of the arbor, you know, into the ground, and maybe just screw the arbor onto the stake. And I'll probably wait until John's here to do it because we have so many rocks around here, it'll be hard for me to you know drive it into the ground. So I'll probably let him do it, uh, fasten it that way. But overall, I'm really pleased with how level it is. It's not perfectly level, but it's pretty good. Like to the eye, I think it looks okay. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun building this arbor. Uh, you can probably tell by the grass underneath the arbor that I sprayed it. And I'm getting ready to create my herb garden. Can't wait, that will be a future video. And if you're needing an arbor and don't really wanna spend a lot of money on one, just go into the woods and build one. It's really not that hard. And again, if you're needing some lawn care products that aren't as harsh as your usual treatments, make sure to check out sunday.com slash white cottage company. And again, enter promo code COTTAGE20 to get 20% off. As always, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.